What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm PT Stu and it's good to see you again. I'm in my office today and today I wanted to talk to you about something that uh, some people have been asking me. I had uh, one of my um, subscribers send me an email and ask me about clomiphene and you know what is the difference between clomiphene and n-clomiphene and uh, you know it's pretty much the same thing. Now, to get down to it, clomiphene is broken down in the body into zooclomiphene and n-clomiphene, okay? So essentially, n-clomiphene is isolated from clomiphene. Now, what is zooclomiphene? Zooclomiphene is, is similar to n-clomiphene. However, it is different in the fact that zooclomiphene is mildly andro... Um, mildly estrogenic in nature, okay? So if any of you have ever done Clomid or Clomiphene, uh, you may have experienced certain estrogenic side effects, such as, you know, just general moodiness, um, not really feeling well, maybe feel like you wanna cry a little bit, but N-Clomiphene does not have that same characteristics. Uh, one thing about zooclomiphene is that it is five times as potent in terms of uh, increasing male fertility as n-clomiphene. However, on the other side of it, n-clomiphene is much more effective at boosting testosterone production than zooclomiphene. Because zooclomiphene is mildly estrogenic, it does actually decrease the power of clomiphene as a substance to increase testosterone as much as N-clomiphene by itself. So there you have it. Um, if you do buy N-clomiphene, uh, you can expect your testosterone levels to go up much more than if you're buying clomiphene. Uh, with clomiphene, your testosterone levels will go up, um, but you will be more fertile than you would on N-clomiphene. So uh, that's a little bit about the differences between the two. Don't get confused. If you want to boost your testosterone levels, I wouldn't suggest buying clomiphene, uh, but go for the N-clomiphene. All right, guys? So there you have it. There's the difference. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And uh, be sure to check out, if you wanna get your testosterone levels checked and your insurance is, gonna, is not gonna cover it, uh, check my link in the comments. You can order your own lab test and there's descriptions for you um, on each test. The, the company that I'm using is low cost. Follow my link and you can go and uh, schedule your own lab test at a local lab near you guys. All right guys, and hey, I know you guys have been following my N-clomiphene progress. Uh, just to give you a little update, I, recent, or I scheduled my lab test for uh, next week to get my levels tested because I'm gonna be off N-clomiphene for 30 days after four months of use. So that's gonna be my next video coming out. And the following video after that is gonna be, um, well, it's gonna be, I'm gonna test N-clomiphene one time per week for 30 days and see how that affects my testosterone levels. Because what I'm really trying to do is get to the bottom of, okay, which one works best for me every other day, every third day, or can I use it every uh, once every week? So uh, I'm going to give you guys some more answers. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I love all of you guys. Hello to my new subscribers. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Stay tuned for the next video. All right. Bye now.